Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got quite a few things to go over for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. There's been a few indications on when we might be seeing a new Pokemon Presents for the Generation 9 games and as well as that a few more rumors to take a look at for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet as well. So plenty of stuff to cover. If you are excited for the video though, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, let's take a look at all of these different indications on to why we might be seeing a new Pokemon present soon. Um, obviously promoting Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Um, so basically, Pokemon have been all over the shop on Instagram, YouTube, everything like that, just promoting past regions. So obviously we had this Visit Kanto, and now recently, uh, on the 11th of May, we've had Visit Johto. Um, so it, seeming, it seems like every single week they're posting a new region, and so some people are expecting that to mean that we're going to be getting a new region post like every single week and then it will kind of link into Pokemon Scarlet and Violet um, which will be around um, well at the end of them. So obviously Gen 1 Kanto, May the 4th 2022, this was posted by Mike, uh, Mark Merez. Uh, Gen 2 uh, was obviously Johto and that was posted on May the 11th 2022. So Gen 3 which is Hoenn we're probably going to see on May the 18th 2022. And then Gen 4, we're probably going to see um, Sinnoh on May the 25th. Gen 5, Unova is going to be on June the 1st. Gen 6's Kalos will be on June the 8th. Gen 7's Alola will be on June the 15th. And then Gen 8's Galar will be on June the 22nd. So Pokemon Presents next month and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Trailer 2. Um, now again, that just means that it'd be a week later after Gen 8, which would be the 29th of June. I think the 29th of June is a little bit too late for another Pokemon Presents, because that's basically July. Um, and I definitely expect to see some more Pokemon Presents, or some po more Pokemon information about Scarlet and Violet before that. Um, it's just interesting, because they've done these kind of things in the past, um, where they kind of have done build-ups to like they did it for pokemon day like on the build-up to pokemon day they did like a post about gen 1 then gen 2 then gen 3 then gen 4 and then lo and behold on pokemon day we obviously got the new uh, generation announcement i don't know if it was for gen 8 or gen 9 that we got that but either way they've definitely done this in the past and this was for just instagram as well they've actually done it for youtube um this was posted by cloaks i have a pretty good theory um on when pokemon scarlet and violet will come out we got kanto last tuesday we got johto this tuesday so i'm thinking we will get the next gens on obviously the the post the, the different dates that um, this person said uh, which means that we'll be getting a trailer on pokemon scarlet violet on june the 28th uh, did i add that up wrong june 22nd Ju okay no, never mind june 20 well around june 28th june 29th and tuesday is also a day where we have usually gotten information in the past like they don't usually post on mondays and like saturdays and sundays it's usually tuesday wednesday thursday i know that we obviously got the pokemon presents on sunday the pokemon scarlet and violet and then obviously other stuff in the past um we've, we've had like on different days but tuesday wednesdays and thursdays usually tuesdays and thursdays are when we get like the most information or get like new trailers presents and stuff so definitely be on the lookout for june uh, obviously this was posted on the youtube so that was seven days ago for kanto then this was um obviously on the last tuesday for johto so they are seemingly promoting it everywhere and not only that they're actually promoting like loads of evolution stuff as well um I saw, I've saw. i obviously seen it on Instagram and, and YouTube and stuff and Twitter. They've been posting so much stuff about Evolution. So best case scenario is when June 28th or 29th hits or whatever, we get a um, a brand new Evolution announced as well. I don't think that's going to happen, but I still don't think we have to wait this long until a, a new bit of information as well. I'm pretty confident we'll get something at the end of May or at uh, least like the early like early june i don't think we'd have to wait all the way till the end of june to see anything uh we also have this as well this was exactly another person pointing this out may the 3rd 2022 uh the kanto short and then of course uh, the johto short exactly one week later um so pokemon scarlet and violet's trailer likely to be june the 28th 2022 and then we also have this from soul silver art saying this is also very interesting concerning a presents we'll have to watch and see if there's anything to uh, to this i feel like june the 28th is too late but great theory also look what could have uh also look what could have placed been in place of sword and shield second trailer no movie this year but pokemon legends arceus was this year so um so yeah the reason that we like so basically we went over this before 
that Sword and Shield was obviously quite a late trailer on June the 5th, whereas all the other trailers for like Diamond and Pearl, Black and White, X and Y and Sun and Moon were all in May. As you can see, May the 15th, May the 15th, May the 14th, May the 10th. But then with Sword and Shield, we got June the 5th. So obviously that was a little bit of an anomaly there. Um, so people are expecting us to see something in May. But the reason why Sword and Shield might have been pushed to June the 5th was because of the Pokemon Detective Pikachu, to, uh, Pikachu movie, which was released on May the 10th, 2019. So obviously they were going to be promoting this quite a bit. So they're not going to be promoting like Sword and Shield whilst they're promoting this movie. They wanted to give the movie a bit of time to you know do well and, and, and everything like that. And then they can drop the Sword and Shield stuff. So that potentially could have been why... Um, Sword and Shield's second trailer was on June the 5th. And as um, Soul Silver Art did state, um, Pokemon Legends Arceus was also released this year. But Pokemon Legends Arceus was obviously released a while ago. So again, that's not really going to be interfering with everything. That game's kind of done now. Um, so that could have been a reason why. So I guess that's just adding more fuel to the fire that we could be seeing something in May, um, which again would be really, really cool to see. And obviously I have more um, information here. Um, this is obviously what we've already covered, just literally going over all the different dates and stuff. Again, I think that june 28th is way too late for a pokemon presents i think it will be like I, I i still think it's gonna be may man i think it could be any time that like this week next week anything like that could easily happen i don't know what day this video is going up but either way i, I think it'll be very very soon um so that's all the pokemon Presents stuff that i wanted to talk about the next thing that i wanted to go over was this so this was tweeted out by expert decidui and it's about this bloody pineapple oddish again so it's been cropping up more and more um so this was posted on 4chan saying a closer look oddish is grass uh, gloom question marks i don't have this information um and then that's some japanese which is a new evolution which is grass water and then blossom is grass fire now of course we don't have a grass fire type yet so that could be really really cool and then they said, my posts are only those with photos attached here on 4chan, only in this thread and my previous two. Anyone on Twitter or any other site who claims to be me is lying. So basically, we kind of thought that this was fake because um, Scarlet Herring obviously tweeted out saying that, you know, they made it. It's fake. Um, you know, go about your day because it's not true. Um, but then, of course, this cropped up on 4chan with a different image of this, um, uh, like, Oddish. And this definitely looks a little bit more kind of... Um, legit. I mean, you can kind of see the more detail on the model and stuff. Like, this looks a lot more legit than the previous Oddish. Um, but anyway, Expert Decidueye tweeted out saying, Okay, so Scarlet Herring is claiming to be the one who made the Pineapple Oddish and Gloom Leak, but this came up on 4chan, where we take a closer look at Regional Oddish, plus the leaker is saying that anyone on Twitter claiming to be him is fake, so is this leak really fake? So, yeah, we kind of put it to bed, but now we've had more stuff about it, and again, it looks more legit, so does that mean that this Scarlet Herring person just kind of lied about it? You know, they're not obviously a very big account or anything. They could have just been trolling because they actually replied to this saying, uh, maybe that's just another uh, red herring. And then he obviously replied saying, I'm not convinced at all that you created this. I'm not believing it's true neither. And then he says, good. So do you confirm to not have created it? I never said that. My intent isn't for people to believe me. I'm just that annoying what if uh, in the leak community right now. So, I mean, the fact that he's kind of saying stuff like that kind of makes me feel like he didn't create it at all. He's kind of just jumping on the bandwagon saying that he did just to get i don't know like two seconds of spotlight or whatever i don't know why he's done it um but the fact that this post that was posted on 4chan um i don't know where this guy got the oddish stuff from i don't think he even did i think he's just saying he did it um and then the, so all along this oddish could have actually been true and again this person's just jumping on it like no actually i made it but in actual fact he didn't make it he's just trying to get like the spotlight or something so this pineapple oddish 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 if you're a fan of it, it could generally be true again, um, because it just, we obviously got more information about it, and then obviously what is written in Japanese. So a cold desert, perhaps fruit served on ice as a desert is universal, right? That's it, or um, banter. That would be awesome. So yeah, I really like this Pokemon. I'm a big fan of Pineapple Oddish, and I really want it to be true. And the fact that now it's popped up again with like a little bit more of a legit image kind of makes it look, I guess, a little bit more believable. Again, it could just still be tr like false and stuff, but I don't think Scarlet Herring um, saying that they made it is enough to warrant that it's fake. I think it could still be legit. But either way, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Uh, let's try and hit 500 likes. Again, leave a comment. When do you think we're going to see a Pokemon Scarlet and Violet trailer? And also, do you think this Oddish is true? Like, are you a fan of it? Let me know. Subscribe if you're brand new. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, 